Where'd it go? Is it dead? This is my black bear that I got. It's so fluffy. All right, this is the bear that Bennett shot yesterday afternoon. Um, it's uh, just come out of hibernation. It's got really long hair. It's probably like four or five inch long hair here. Oh, gosh. Really thick and coarse. And uh, super warm bear there. And so this is the skin. We'll get it tanned. It's actually this long. Is that long? Remember, look at these claws here on the bear. Mm -hmm. Look at those claws. Oh! This is what it uses to climb trees. They're pretty sharp too. You wouldn't want to yeah. mess with that. Yeah. Uh, Bennett wants to hang it on his wall. So we got to do some work to get it ready to go to a tannery to get uh, tanned. And then we'll see what to do and get it prepared. Pretty. He did a great job shooting it for a nine year old kid. He did really, really well. Uh, the meat we have hanging in the shed, but I'm going to cut it all up and one of the back legs I'm going to turn into a giant ham. We'll smoke it. Uh, the other stuff we'll grind up and make into burger or make roasts and probably make some sausage or uh, uh, just different meat products with it. We'll eat it all. Where's all the meat? We got all the meat hanging here. Last night it was 32 degrees, so I keep it in here really cool. And then I'll be processing it here and just starting up pretty quick. And each of those bags has yeah, like a front shoulder or a back shoulder. One, it, that one has two back legs in it, okay? What? Yeah. I thought you only took one. I am. So right now I'm working on the skin. And I got to take it to Fish and Game tomorrow to get it uh, checked in. And then we'll take care of all that other stuff. How much do you think that weighs? Oh, it's hot. I mean, this thing weighs probably pounds or more and I already took the head out so I'm keeping it in the cool in the shade here on the snow I don't want to I got to keep it cool so that the hair doesn't slip and uh, there's some more work I have to do to get it ready and put a bunch of salt on it but uh, yep just trying to keep everything clean and good to go until we're ready to process it all What we have right here is the back leg of a black bear. We skinned it and cleaned it all up. So this is the back leg. Um, we've, you can see some fat here on the back. Here's the ligaments. Um, here's the ball joint where it connected to the leg. So what we're gonna be doing is preparing this. We already have, we've cleaned off any, trimmed off excess fat. We uh, picked off any of the hair or any of the debris that, that came on it. And we trimmed it right here. Here's the trimmings. And we're preparing this to soak it in a brine and then we're gonna smoke it. We're gonna turn this into a giant ham. Just a, the whole leg is gonna be a ham, uh, just like you would have uh, from the store. It'll have its own distinct taste as a bear ham. Um, but we're gonna have salt, sugar, some curing spices, and let it sit in that for about 10 days. And then we'll uh, put it on the smoker and get it up to 165 degrees and then take it off and it'll be ready to eat. Can Want you me tell me what that is? It's a ejector. Yeah, so what this is, Weston, is this... Meat. Yeah, and those are for taking that stuff. You gotta shoot the brine all the way down, all alongside the bones, because that brine is salt, it soaks into the meat, but you can uh, kind of inject it down into it to, to jumpstart it, and make sure that every part of the meat gets cured, and then it gets cooked. Okay. Let's get it over here by the bone. Okay. Let's 
Squeeze it in. Good. Ooh. We're just gonna work our way down the bone here. Okay, it's been injected, and now we are gonna slide it down into the brine and let it sit there for 10 days. What? What? There we go. What's that? Perfect. Totally submerged. What's that? So in most parts of Alaska, when you shoot a black bear or a brown bear, you have to take it into the Department of Fishing Game, and they measure the skull and the skin, and they put a metal tag on it, fill out some paperwork, record about uh, how big it is, where you shot it, what you had to do to get it, and they use that for research. And so we took Bennett's bear in just a couple days after he harvested it, and uh, his was the first bear harvested in South Central Alaska in 2021 that was taken in. So that was pretty exciting. But also, it was a pretty big bear. Um, they said it was in the top 5% of skull size, and so uh, we took that skull and gave it to a friend of ours or acquaintance who has a beetle colony, and uh, so he has these beetles that you put the bones in, and the beetles chew everything off, and that takes like a week or so. So then we went and picked it up. I went with Bennett and our friend Paul and have it here. I'm going to pull out of a bucket. I'll show you. After, you, after the beetles eat all of the, uh, the meat off, you have to do it through a process of degreasing it because the bear skull has a lot of oils in it and so we'll be preparing that skull to uh, stick in Bennett's room and and whiten it up and clean it all up so I'll show you here in a sec all right so this is the bear skull it's been soaking in the soapy water I probably need to change it out it's been maybe a week and a half the process what we're trying to do now is get some of the grease and oils that are inside of this bear um, skull and to uh, take them just just to get them off so that uh, it won't discolor in the future. You can see the nasal bones there all cleaned out. These are the incisors. It's got one of those teeth broken off. So this is like a, a fighter. A um, little bit broken on the jaw there. Here's the back. So pretty cool. We're cleaning this all up. Uh, we'll bleach it and then Bennett can have it in his room. And uh, kind of as a, just a trophy. The skin we salted and fleshed and sent it off to a tannery to get tanned. And then we'll see what we want to do with it. Maybe hang it on the wall or make a rug out of it. What are you working on, Westy? Cutting up hunt. This is a huge uh, bear hunt. I got this huge piece. I just got yep. this what, piece. So how are we going to cook it, or what are we doing with it? When... We're going to put it on the trigger. Are we? <laughs> Actually, we're going we're gonna to grind this up into our hamburger. All right, so we took the rest of the bear, and we ground it up. And uh, this is some of it. And uh, we had 25 pounds of bear meat here. And then I mixed in a, pack of, uh, a mixture of spices to make Italian sausage. And this is what we use for lasagna and spaghetti and that kind of stuff. And then right now here I have a sausage stuffer and this is just to help package it. You could take this and stick it in a bag and close it up. And so we're gonna do it a little differently. We're gonna take all this and put it into here. And we just press and it it pushes it out here into uh, into bags, and then we seal them up and stick it in the freezer. So that's what we're doing right now. So I'm going to load this thing up right now. This is a mild Italian sausage, and this is a raw sausage, so we won't smoke it or do anything like that. We'll stick it in the freezer, and then when we want it, we'll just pull it out and uh, use it just like any type of uh, Italian sausage you buy at the store that you're going to use to make spaghetti or something like that. And you'd have to fully cook it and put it with your sauce and. Go have at it. So we have these uh, plastic bags here that you can buy at the store. And pretty simple. It's open on one end. We'll slide this over the, uh, what do they call it? The end of the sausage stuffer. And then fill it up and then close it off like that. So here we go. What are you making here? Uh, we are making breakfast sausage. So I, ha I measured our fat and our meat content, and um, we're using about one third fat and two thirds meat. The stuff you get at the store would be a lot higher fat content than that. And so I measured them out separately. We're gonna be mixing them together. We're gonna put all the spices in, and then we'll. This is a fresh. They call it fresh sausage. So it'll be raw. We'll stuff it in and we'll cook it uh, for, like a for, for breakfast sausage, like a Jimmy Dean.
So the, the brand of seasonings that we use are the Excalibur brand, and we get them at a, at a local wholesaler called Alaska Butcher Supply that sells stuff for small time people like us and also uh, large butcher shops here in town. And so we just uh, buy the seasonings that they've mixed up for 25 pound batches and it works pretty well for us. quick look at dinner. Tonight we are having our first Italian bear meat from Bennett's bear that he shot just last week. If you missed that video, make sure to check out our Alaska Boys channel. That is where you will find the bear hunting video where this guy shot his first black bear. All right, here's our black bear spaghetti. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's 10 o'clock at night. You can see it's still pretty light out right now. We got the kids almost in bed and, and take care of all the other things we had to do today. And I'm addressing this meat. This is the back leg of our black bear that my son shot, uh, I think about 13 days ago. This has been in the brine for 12 days. And uh, you know this sugar, salt, and nitrate mixture. And uh, so I'm gonna pull it out, we're gonna let it dry kind of air dry um, outside it's going to get down to upper 30s low 40s so we've kept this cool for the whole time to keep the meat uh, safe and, and uh, contained and we're going to let it air dry tonight and then tomorrow before i go to work i'm going to stick it on the trigger and we're going to cook it all day while i'm at work and i'll come home and we'll be checking it with the meat thermometer to uh, make sure we get to the right temperature and uh, so here let's have a look at it so we're definitely not experts at this. We've been having a great time over the last couple of years, trying new things, making sausage and other things. And so if you want to try this, make sure you get some good information. And there's a lot of information online from the USDA and other places about safe meat temperatures and how, how to do this to make sure that you can do it safely and have a good product. And so I've followed those instructions and we have not had any problems. Um, when I was younger, we've been married just a couple of years, I just kind of did so a few a few times I cooked salmon willy-nilly and um, ended up getting food poisoning and then after that I really started following the information religiously and carefully and then we've never had any problems since so that's my little two cents on that okay so this we're just letting it kind of we could kind of pat it dry I'm just gonna let it kinda, let that drip dry and then uh, like I said tomorrow morning we'll uh, put it in the smoker Hopefully it'll be tender by the time we've cooked it slowly. I, this is probably gonna take a long time. I think it's gonna take 10 hours. I mean, you could crank the heat up and do it faster, but we're gonna do it pretty low and slow. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, I'll start it at 7 a.m. tomorrow and I bet it won't be done till 6.37 tomorrow night. So I'll be keeping an eye on it with my phone. With the wi We have our Wi-Fi connection on the Traeger so I can keep a track on um, what then? So we have an internal temperature probe and it'll send a message to me. I can check it while I'm at work. Oh my goodness. So this is the bear ham. It's been on here for a little over 10 hours and um, it's looking great. I've probed it a few spots to make sure we're at a safe temperature. Could have killed any bugs and make it safe to eat. So it's looking really good. I've been probing a couple spots down deep just to make sure. Look at all that juice just streaming out. So, oh, yum. Okay. That's so good. Look at that. Oh, wow. Awesome. This right here. See how it is. Mm. See that? There's the fat there. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, try a piece of this. See how it is. <laughs> it's kind of kind of tough. <laughs> yeah, cut that in a smaller piece. Well.
that bear ham didn't quite turn out how we had hoped. I followed pretty much exactly the same recipe I had followed when I did the back leg of a deer that my son shot last uh, fall, and it turned out awesome. The problem with the bear is it's a lot tougher, and so it tasted really good, but it chewed like rubber. And so I did a little more research. Um, we had cooked it long enough and hot enough to make it safe to eat, but I really needed to cook it longer and a bit hotter to kind of break down those muscles. And I didn't know that at the time, so the smoker had shut down. So what we decided to do was um, cut it off in chunks and cut it into chunks, and we put it in a um, crock pot with some beans, and it was awesome. It tasted really good. It was, it was great. So we froze the rest of it, and uh, so we'll have to just cook it, slow cook it that way. It has the great flavor, good taste. We've been eating a whole bunch of the rest of the bear meat uh, the last couple weeks uh, in uh, Italian sausage with spaghetti and also cooking it for breakfast with a breakfast sausage and burritos or eggs, and it's been delicious. So um, it totally uh, a win on all sides. We'll just learn a bunch, and next time we'll know what to do a little bit better on, on the bear leg. I hope you've enjoyed coming along and learning a few new things about how we deal with uh, uh, our meat and process it, and we'd love to see, have you subscribe and check out any of our other videos of the Alaska Boys. Thanks, and catch you next time.